everyone, welcome back to ID Xbox. This is Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed, and I'm joined by Jordan, the design director. Welcome. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm doing great, Adrian. How about yourself? Uh-oh. I don't think I can hear you right hello, away. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hey! There. Is that coming through? Cool. Yeah, I said I was great. good. How about yourself? How you doing? You know what? I read your lips, and I thought you said that. Thank you. I'm That's feeling... perfect. <laughs> I'm feeling okay. Uh, I'm a little intimidated because this game looks amazing and I feel like you're really good at it and we're playing together and I just don't want to mess this up, man. You know what I mean? Trust me, I'm not going to be a jerk about it. Uh, I want to make sure <laughs> you experience it and have fun. I want to walk you through it and you know make sure we have a good time um, because yeah, I, I'm pretty good. I'm not going to brag, but you know, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited though. This is, this is going to be good. Uh, this has been something that we've been working on for a while now and it's just been an absolute joy to work on and there's just so many different things oh great nice I, I didn't notice the cat was so much in frame but i guess that's a bonus <laughs> so you don't have to don't have to look at me while i talk but yeah i'm i'm super excited to be here so thank you for having me hey i'll, I'll tell you what right now uh tamika said been waiting for this game for months it looks beyond worth the wait there's like three different people with named ghostbusters in chat so it feels like every showcase there's like three games people are just the top of the hour they're like hey what's up when's this and guess what you're the that and this well, that's that's good to hear i mean we've we've noticed there's a very diehard fan base behind the ip obviously and to see everyone popping in and kind of following along as we slowly drip out a lot of the content from this game it's it's awesome to see them react to it at the same time has gonna be a blast and i i think you and i'll be playing together as we teased earlier so as we play through this game right away i have to know how much Ghostbusters did you have to watch to get this started? I've, <laughs> I mean, so much. We've we've been known for working with a lot of these different IPs in the in the games that we make, and it's extremely important to look back at the source content material. And Ghostbusters is just as true as any of those. And to be able to to you know not only recognize this as something that pretty much everyone that's worked at the studio has grown up with, um, kind of in different sections too, because you got fans of the original, you got fans of Ghostbusters too, uh, the animated series. There's just so much content there, and that was a big part of any time we're starting to build something like this. As we go back, we look at all the minute details throughout all the all the different pieces of media that exist, and try and make sure we translate that into the game experience because what's more important about a ghostbusters game than feeling like it's a ghostbusters game i agree with that i mean you want to have that feel right away you want to have like-minded people along the way who share the same vision and honestly you aren't the only one lace the bass says this will finally let me constantly reference ghostbusters lines with my group so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you know, as we're playing through this too, as we teased in the opening, there's the idea of playing as a ghost or a ghostbuster. How does that differentiate? So uh, we make, we've been making asymmetrical games. Um, and if you're not familiar with the term asymmetrical, uh, multiplayer games are where there is uh, one versus many, one versus, you know, two versus four. There's, there's an offset in the team structure. And it's, it's a fun way to take it. it. It especially works in Ghostbusters because you have the, the classic Ghostbusting crew, and then you have the ghosts, which is taking over the location. And it's pretty much building two different games. Um, we're, we're, we're showing more and more of the ghost gameplay as, as things come along. And it's an extremely different experience because you are actively haunting the building uh, that you're in. You're, you're messing with the Ghostbusters. It's a very sneaky, very, very uh, mischievous role that you take on. Whereas with the Ghostbusters, you're going in, and it's third person as well. So coming back to the Ghostbusters side, it's a first person experience where you are ah. clearing the building, trying to find this ghost. You know, you get to use all the iconic gear, and and what better way to, to kind of portray that is from a per first person's perspective, where you can feel that gear operate and feel the power of it, um, and when you're going around and, and busting these ghosts. I am so happy you brought that up. That's such a good idea to switch between first person and third person, depending on the experience you have, and you you hit it right on the head. The idea of you want to see all the colors, right? You want to hear all the noises because those are things that are tied to memory. So when you're in yeah. another room, if you hear a certain noise, if you watch the franchise in any portion, you know right away what it is you're listening to, right? That's got to feel really yeah. good. Oh, yeah. 
And that's that goes into the sound design, that goes into the look. We spent a lot of times looking back on all the different, you know, it's it's eighties movies, so like we have to kind of interpret the VFX that are used. Luckily Afterlife <laughs> was a great reference point more for kind of what that updated look looks like. But when we're going into the particle thrower and trying to make sure it's like, hey, when people imagine Ghostbusters and playing in their backyards as kids with cardboard proton packs, like what would they be imagining actually picking up that material would feel like in in, in this game? Well, joke's on you, Jordan. I still do that as an adult, and now I can do it <laughs> in a game. So we're playing it right now. We're hopping on in. Let's take a look at this. Cool. First I off, I got to say, I love your name, by the way. Oh, Jordan thank Gondi. you. Great thank reference. You very much. Yeah. Oh, look uh, at you. Yeah, you can first, I'm first going to call out that we do have um, a big part of this was we, we spent a lot of time in the character customization realm for this game. Um, we're not going to be really showing any of that, but you can take a look at our characters right now and recognize that we've, we've spent a lot of time in making sure that you get to make yourself or your, your character, give as many controls as possible to really make your own Ghostbuster. Because in this game, you're stepping into the shoes of a Ghostbuster, or the boots, I should say, and, and kind of taking on that role to, to help out at the firehouse. So that's what's possible. I mean, you can see my strong jaw that uh, spent yes, a lot of time carving, carving this thing out. So it, uh, you know, the, the ghosts are extra scared by that, that kind of presentation. <laughs> it looks like a compass point for where the ghosts are <laughs> Just fall on my chin. Yep, <laughs> no, but it's yep, that's... Oh my god, I just realized that your vest actually has your name on it. Yep. That is so <laughs> tight. I love little additions like that. Look at all the glowing stuff and the blinking light. Oh my god, your proton pack. Yep, and that's another thing uh, um, it, we have is the, you know, we have a lot of customization around the gear as well because we while we start as kind of the, the standard stock uh, equipment that you see in every uh, in every movie, we wanted to allow you to mess with gameplay and like start to choose and find different ways to upgrade. Not only visually, so the the equipment starts to turn into something completely different, but also gameplay yeah. wise. There's a lot of minutia and like little cool little things that you can kind of like push for, and, and it's it's almost like building out your your character in a way that's like, hey, this is the way I like to play this game. So I'm gonna equip these different attachments that allow me to do that. I like that a great deal. Before we hop into our first thing, is there like a, a mirror or I can take a look at myself and show me? Let's, off uh, you'll see it when we start the match. So we have um, Perfect. Some, some cinematics that'll, that'll show that's your character off. Hustles. That's <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. Let me just make sure. Here we go. So we're going to go out on our first job now. I am going to be the ghost, of course. So. Um, oh, okay. Of course. We'll let you you guys take care of the of finding me, but it, I'll, like I said, I'll take it easy. But it's it's going to be a it's going to be a fun little experience here. Um, Yo, production, show me his screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> None of that let now. <laughs> let me ask you: uh, You're going ghost right away, but what is your preference? What do you have more fun playing? Not necessarily what is more fun, but what do you have more fun playing, and why? I. I uh, let's take a look. Watch your character enter majestically into the match right now. With my Bret Hart sunglasses on. <laughs> I'm going to find a kid in the front row and give them to him. Um, but just to quickly answer your question, it's tough. I, I love both sides uniquely for different reasons. They both provide such a unique angle on on gameplay like you it's 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 enjoyable. But I mean, it depends if, if my friends are in the game. I'm totally going after them as a ghost. Uh, because it's it's fun to just mess with. So first thing I'll call out is, yeah, you, we've entered the location and now it's the, the job of the busters to find the, the ghosts, right? Oh. So you can pull out your PKE meter, um, okay. which is going to allow you to start getting some signals and, and seeing the- um, Oops, wrong button. I think you just hit uh, two, I believe, or unless you're on a controller. I'm a controller right now. Um, hit uh, hit Y. Check this out. Oh, there we hey. go. Look at that. So you'll see on the screen. So the PKE meter is, is built pretty faithfully to the functionality um, that we've we've detected and kind of noticed in a lot of the. Now oh, wait a second. That that wasn't moving, was it? Now, you know, <laughs> I don't want to point any fingers, Jordan. But something tells me this whole taking it easy on me thing. I'm looking at this meter right now. Oh, oh shoot! 
the AI does not care. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. They were not into making sure the showcase goes well. <laughs> I like that energy. Good for them. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's kind of an, oh, yeah, they're going to they're yes. gonna make this definitely a lot more difficult on me. Don't slam me. Why would you do that? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get away from that chaos. Why would you get away? But I, I dropped you a few of the of the minions that I can use to distract as well. Oh, their traps laid down too. They are really good. Wow, I'm looking around the game like this is so pretty, and they're like, "Dog, we got a job to do." <laughs> no, but that's what's great about it is like we've we've spent a lot of time as well from our previous experiences in making these types of games. We felt is extremely important to build out. Uh, the the ability for these AI to take over and help you. Um, there's there's a lot of people that sometimes don't like playing with other players, right? So yeah. to be able to give them an opportunity to just jump in and play, regardless if they have friends to play with or want to really play with anyone at any, any given time, uh, the AI fill that role and they jump in and they, they're able to competently move through the match and, and do whatever uh, a player can't do. And look at them finding me right now. This is... Okay, I'll let you. I'll now, let you, you get me going? just so you can get a get a feel of the the tethering that's happening. I like that. I'm gonna let you get me. Respect. You broke the tether. Why would you do that? Oh, look at that! The little minions. That's so cool. I can clear the slime off of me. That is fantastic. So now imagine that. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, go ahead. You go. I was just going to say, I imagine as you progress the game, there's going to be so many different upgrades that you can do to make this so much easier along the way for both sides, right? The different ways to manipulate people into doing what you want them to do. Yep. Yeah, we have uh, we have a bunch of different ghosts that, that will be um, unlockable. Uh, we've shown off a few. You've seen sneak peeks of a few of them throughout the trailer. You saw a few other ones. They'll have... Um, they all play very differently like we've been building them in ways that just kind of you know lean towards different styles of gameplay there's some that are really aggressive and 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 very quick to respond to to situations um and well, then there's some that are more about being very sneaky so well jordagander i had a great time unfortunately we have like a total of 20 seconds left and i wanted 20 minutes more that <laughs> I, I i lost myself completely the entire time so i need you to help me out and let everyone chat know details about the game, where they can find out more. The spotlight is yours. Well, yeah, we are launching on October 18th. Uh, you can check out any news and updates at GhostbustersSU.com or on Twitter is probably another good place. It's uh, GhostbustersSU as well. So uh, very excited. Thank you again for having me. This was uh, a blast. Yeah, thank you so much, Jordan. And thank you for giving me the podium, making me look good too. Good looking out, very humbling. <laughs> Oh, of course. Anytime. Thanks for stopping in, man. Take care. See ya.